hello guys welcome to my seventh video for creating login and sign up application in this video we'll be adding a remember me checkbox to our login application and using sessions to make that work I have already added uh, this remember me checkbox in our form so we can go ahead and uh, use the request method to get the value of that uh, checkbox I have named the checkbox as remember now we can add an if conditions to check whether the remember checkbox has been clicked or not. I have given the value as uh, remember me so I will copy paste that one to here. Now we can start creating a new PHP class that will be saved into the session when a user logins. So I will just create a new PHP class with the name login and uh, create two variables in that I'll give the name space as models so I can use that in the default controller I'll create two variables in that for username and password usually the password is not stored in the login session object instead a token is generated using some algorithm and is stored in the login session object and also in a temporary database so when a user logins the session object is checked with the token in the DB for this tutorial I'm just storing the password in the login object so that I can demonstrate the use of sessions in this tutorial I'll just move that if condition inside the condition where the user logins now we'll start creating the session object the session object can be obtained from the request method that is this dot get request dot get session first I'll clear the session object now we need this session object just in the post request and not in the get in the get method just the login form is rendered and in the post method the actual login happens so I'll move those session objects to the post method and if the login happens we can add the login object which we had created earlier to the session so we'll create a new login object now we can set the username and password for this login object using its setter and getter method this username and password will be the valid one as this is being done after the validation of the user object from the database now we can add this object to the session using the set method we'll give the name as login we are adding this login object to the session only when the user clicks the remember me checkbox in the other case the user is directly redirected to the welcome page without adding any session object now what we have to do is to check whether this session object exists when the user come to the login page that is in the get method so we can give an else condition to the first if where we check whether the request is post and check whether the login session object is existing in the session so we can start doing that we'll first create the else method for the if condition we'll need to use the session object in both the condition so now we can check whether the login object is existing in the session so we can use the session has method we have given the name as login so we can check whether it has the login object now we can retrieve the username and password from this login object using the getter methods so we'll get that login object using the get method now we can create two variables called username and password to store the username and password which we get from this session object this login object will be an instance of the login class which we had created so we can use the getter method for that object to get the username and password from the session object and uh, we'll have to validate this username and password later so we can do the same validation we have done earlier we'll need the entity managers here too to do the validation so 
we can copy that too now we can copy the if condition to check whether the session object is valid so if the session object is valid we can redirect the user to the welcome page directly now we can give a logout link to the welcome page so that the user can clear the session mm, I'll just copy the sign up link from the login page I'll give the link as logout now we'll create a new path for this logout so we'll have to create a new path in the routing.yml file and uh, we'll have to define a controller for that too this controller will basically just clear the session so we won't have to do anything much in that so we'll create our new action called logout action so this method will be just clearing the session so we'll just get the session object and clear it using the clear method now we can redirect the user to the login page after the session is cleared now we can check what we have done first I will not check the remember me checkbox so when I reload the welcome page I should be again shown the login page and when I check the remember me checkbox if I reload the welcome page I'll be again shown the welcome page itself and the logout is also working now to make it more secure we can add a password encryption method so that we don't have to store the actual password so we can use the SHA1 encryption algorithm to store the password while we sign up so we'll have to check the same when the user logins too so we'll use the algorithm same algorithm to convert the password which the user has entered now we can check that too so when the user logins now he should not be shown the welcome page as now we are checking with the encrypted password so we'll create a new user with the encrypted password now this user should be stored with the encrypted password we can uh, check that in the DB2 you can see here that we used to store the actual password and for the new user the encrypted password is being stored so we can just check the login also for the new user now the user is being checked with the encrypted password so he should be able to log in and the session is also working now we have completed this login application thank you guys for watching these videos have a nice day